The county without changing trains. KTLA's Aaron Myers live in downtown LA with a preview for us. Aaron, good morning. Good morning, Frank. Depending on what train you get on, you'll be able to get to Long Beach or Santa Monica without getting off of those trains. They are debuting two new rail lines today, also three new rail stations. We're here at one of those stations. This is the Little Tokyo Arts District station where those two new lines, the A and the E, will go through. Now, the regional connector combines the new A and E lines with the L line to form two new rail lines. The new A line will go from Azusa to Long Beach, and the new E line will connect East Los Angeles and Santa Monica, and you do not have to get off the train to get there. There are also the three new underground stations opening today, which include Little Tokyo Arts District, where we are, Historic Broadway, and Grand Avenue Arts Bunker Hill. These new additions will provide riders with more direct access to downtown L.A. Now, I want to bring in artist Clarence Williams. His artwork is going to be seen at the Historic Broadway station. Now, you are also a Pulitzer winner. You work yes. for L.A. Times. You've done quite a bit, and now people are going to see your work at the Historic Broadway station. What are they going to see? Well, they were going to see a story that's called Migrations. It's a photo essay about how how LA is this place that people that attracts and it pulls people and so part of it one side of the station talks about Hurricane Katrina and it's after effect and how a lot of people as a result of it, migrated to Los Angeles on the other side the south wall we have different vignettes of various groups of people that also have migrated to Los Angeles through the years. We are a city with so many different people, which is, I think makes that amazing. How did you get involved with this project? You, you know, um, honestly, it was, um, it was an open call. I had no intention of doing this, but I thought it was just, honestly, I was like, oh, I'll do this, it might be, let's see what happens. And before you knew it, it, I won, and I became part of this group of artists that were able to create this work for our, our, our new metro. And how does it feel knowing so many people are going to see your artwork now? I mean, they already have, but now they're going to see it even more. You know, it's it's a little different than working for publications. It's um, it's a very special moment. And then, along with the photographs, I've they're done in conjunction with haikus that were written by a woman by the name of Ursula Rucker. She's a world-famous poet, and she happens to be one of my... Not one of my... She happens to be my best friend. And we have been friends since... I like to say 13. She says 16, but for quite some time. Thank you for sharing your story, and I look forward to seeing your artwork. If you guys want to come check it out this weekend, actually, uh, they are giving free Metro rides on all of the different platforms. That will go all the way through till Monday at 3 a.m. So you can get out, you can check out Clarence's work, you can check out the other artists' work at these three stations, and explore downtown a little bit. Reporting live here in downtown, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Aaron, thank you. A huge day today for students in Westwood as UCLA will be holding three major commencement ceremonies on campus today. About 6,000 students will attend three ceremonies at Poly Pavilion. They are expected to be joined by nearly 25,000 friends and family at commencements taking place at 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m. Actor and comedian... Up LACC, two Southern California natives, Murrieta Zaricki Fowler and San Diego Xander Shoffley set U.S. Open records, both shooting scores of eight under 62 to lead the tournament. Former champ Dustin Johnson, two back after firing a six under 64. In all, 37 players are under par after day one, extremely unusual for a U.S. Open, which always strives to be the most difficult test in golf. After uh, the round, the players talked about the conditions. The guys.